Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, My So-Called Healthy Life. And this is the Peace series because we are reading Thich Nhat Hanh's Peace is Every Step, The Path of Mindfulness in Everyday Life. And um, I haven't posted anything from this this weekend because I just kind of wanted to relax at home and be with my husband. And so I didn't want to set up the lights and everything and I wanted to make it enjoyable for you guys. So, um, but I'm back and I'm ready to do the book. So today we're going to go on to the next section, which is on page nine, present moment, wonderful moment. And I'm going to read it and then we'll talk about it. All right. Present moment, wonderful moment. In our busy society, it is a great fortune to breathe consciously from time to time. We can practice conscious breathing not only while sitting in a meditation room, but also while working, while working at, off, at the office or at home, while driving our car or sitting on a bus, wherever we are at any time throughout the day. There are so many exercises we can do to help us breathe consciously. Besides the simple in-out exercise, I mentioned that in the last one, we can recite these four lines silently as we breathe in and out. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Dwelling in the place, the present moment, I know this is a wonderful moment. Breathing in, I calm my body. Reciting this line is like drinking a glass of cool lemonade on a hot day. You can feel the coolness permeate your body. When I breathe in and recite this line, I actually feel my breath calming my body and mind. Breathing out, I smile. You know a smile can relax hundreds of muscles in your face. Wearing a smile on your face is a sign that you are a master of yourself. Dwelling in the present moment. While I sit here, I don't think of anything else. I sit here and I know exactly where I am. I know this is a wonderful moment. It is a joy to sit, table and at, and at ease, and return to our breathing. Stable and at, at ease and return to our breathing, our smiling, our true nature. Our appointment with life is in the present moment. If we do not have peace and joy right now, when will we have peace and joy? Tomorrow or after tomorrow? What is preventing us from being happy right now? As we follow our breathing, we can say simply, calming, smiling, present moment, wonderful moment. Calming, smiling, present moment, wonderful moment. This exercise is not just for beginners. Many of us who have had practice meditation and conscious breathing for 40 or 50 years continue to practice in the same way because this kind of exercise is so important and so easy. What I really like about that is like whenever I read these to you guys, okay, there's like something that stands out to me. And it was um, at this point where I said, um, I know this is a wonderful moment. It is a joy to sit stable and at ease and return to our breathing, our smiling, our true nature. Our appointment with life is in the present moment. If we do not have peace and joy right now, when will we have peace and joy? Tomorrow or after tomorrow? And the reason that I like that so much is that any time that I'm having a ne negative moment in my life or any time that I'm like going through something that's really hard for me, like listen, we're gonna have tough times, okay? We're gonna have times, you know, of sickness and illness and arguing and just you feel like you can't move one more moment. But if you can sit in that moment, I'm not asking you to be bl blissfully happy, but if you can sit in that moment and say to yourself, okay, for right now, what do I need to do to take care of myself right now? To be still. And then you start thinking about the good things, right? In those horrific moments, you're not going to be able to be the happiest person in the world, okay? But to remain peaceful, to remain calm in those situations is really a, a true strength, right? I think that going through deaths, going through breakups, going through grief, you know, in, going through illness, going through sickness, going through doctors telling us about sickness, things like that, going into those moments and maybe the moment before, breathing consciously, consciously calming ourselves down, smiling. We can all smile. We don't have to have anything to smile about just to relax our muscles and then go in there because you're not going to be able to change the outcome of what we're told. You're not going to be able to change the outcome of what happens. We're not going to be able to change the outcome of somebody breaking up with us or dying or leaving or whatever happens. But we can change how we are in that moment of remaining calm and peaceful. And maybe that will help us a little bit more. And I know that that's hard to hear, but I try to practice that. I'm not always good at it. There's a lot of times that I'm, I'm not good at that at all. But, you know, in hearing this and to be reminded that just for that moment, moment to moment, I can stay calm. I can do that. You know, it's very much that idea of, you know, one day at a time. 
And so moment to moment, I can do that too. I hope that helps you guys. I love you and we will be back tomorrow talking about thinking less. So I hope you guys like these. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I'll talk to you later. Bye.